Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating, of course, American Latino pride. Today, we're focusing on a few stories that prove giving up should never be an option. We're starting off the show with someone who definitely knows that to be true. After all, fashion designer Mondo Guerra made a splash in the designer world when he placed second on the hit reality competition, Project Runway. But that's not his biggest triumph, because along the way, he used his fame to become an advocate for HIV awareness. And it's his story that is inspiring so many others who live with HIV, showing them there's nothing out there that can hold back your spirit. Meet Mondo Guerra. Brought to you by Maybelline New York. Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. Mondo, your signature is really coming through. Congratulations, Mondo. You are the winner of this challenge. Yeah. Prize money and TV exposure might be more than enough for aspiring creative types, but for fashion designer Mondo Guerra, appearing on a popular reality show unexpectedly became the stage where he finally let go of a secret that had been haunting him for years. I sent in a portfolio for a contest, and I won the contest, and the prize was to go out to New York City. I packed all the garments that I had built myself, and I signed a contract, and now I'm a designer at a company, 19 years old. I was living in my own apartment, I had a great job. I felt so invincible that nothing could stop me at this point. And then I was diagnosed with HIV, at the age of 23. My initial thought was that I wouldn't share this information. Like, nobody needs to know this information except me. And that really affected me because I ended up going back to Denver because I was too sick to take care of myself. Everything that I had worked for for years was taken away because of my lack to make really important decisions. It really take me to hit rock bottom to get back and really focus on how I want to commu communicate uh, my story. This is Project Runway. That's when things started going really well. For this challenge, you will be creating a textile design that will be placed on fabric, but your textile design must evoke something that's deeply personal. I created this pattern. It consists of a plus sign. And I was so emotionally connected to that design. These pluses are positive signs, and I've been uh, HIV positive for 10 years. If you see the footage, I am like physically lifted. And I, in, in a lot of ways, I, I gave myself the forgiveness and I gave myself my life back at that moment. That was very brave of you. I feel a lot better. I feel free. It isn't about being HIV positive or being HIV negative. It's about accessing the materials to educate yourself. I collaborated with Merck on this new HIV education campaign called iDesign. You can empower yourself to talk with your doctor and really find the right treatment plan that works for you. Visit the website projectidesign.com. It's easy information, it's important information, and this is information that you can continue the conversation with. You know, it feels good to be accepted for who you are. Now I have a voice and a platform to talk about that is something else that is such a part of me. And I always like to say, like, there's bigger issues to be addressed than just getting up and getting dressed.